Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart 4-in-1 Multi Cooker. It's a slow cooker, but it can do so much more than just slow cooking. So let's look at the unit. This is a lid, it's tempered glass with a nice stainless um, handle. Put that down there. This is your roasting rack, which comes with the unit. Put that over there. This is your movable cooking pot. It's non-stick. It's great too because I'm going to show you in a little bit how to make a recipe where we're going to brown and saute. And that's really important um, to be able to do in your slow cooker because it also eliminates all the steps of cooking on top of the stove and then putting the ingredients in the cooker. So this product you can actually cook right inside the cooker. You can brown and saute and you can do you know, a really great job at developing flavor so your dishes come out really tasty. So let's look at the front. The um, body of the unit is um, made out of um, brushed stainless steel. It has two cast handles on the side, which make it easy to move it around if you need to move around your kitchen. And in the front, this is your um, touchpad panel. Basically, you'll notice there's four main features on the top. This is slow cook. So you press slow cook, and you can adjust the temperature by pressing plus. And across the bottom, you're going to see that it goes from high, low to simmer to warm. Okay. And then also, the next item is roast. So you can roast in the temperature. It happens to be on 350, but it goes all the way um, from 250 to 450. And you just do pick your temperature by pressing the plus or minus button. The next is brown saute, and the same thing. You just pick your temperature by pressing the button. And the last item is steam. This is where um, you're going to actually use this rack. You're going to put it inside. And one of the things I like to do with it is I like to steam artichokes because it's like really easy and simple to do, and you can get a lot of artichokes in there at once. So that's your function for steam. And then down here is your start stop button, which engages your um, you know cooking function. And the other thing I just want to show you too, you can also um, you can also choose how much time you want to put the slow cooker on for, and it goes up to 24 hours. And then what will happen is if you use the timer, it will go directly into a keep warm mode. So for instance, if you cook your food and it needs to be cooked for like six hours and you're away for the day working, um, it will go to keep warm. So whenever you get home, it's ready for you and you can have a family meal with very little effort. So those are the main features and functions of the product. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it on brown saute and I believe 400. I'm going to hit start. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start preparing um, the ingredients for the lemon rosemary chicken that I'm going to show you how to make today. It's really simple and easy. And I like it because it's very flavorful also. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our flour. We're just going to put it in this um, larger bowl here. We're going to put all of our pepper and about half of our salt to season the flour. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just going to mix this up with my tongs to incorporate all the seasoning. And then what I'm going to do I'm going to start dredging the, the chicken. Sorry. And you just do that. These happen to be thighs. I like to use thighs because they're nice and flavorful. Um, you know they are also an, you know more inexpensive than um, some other cuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the dredged ones in here while our unit is heating up. So we'll just keep going. I'm going to do about, um, about six thighs at one time. That's a, a good amount. Um, and the nice thing about the dredging is it's going to get a nice help you get a nice brown on it. And then the other thing that's great too is later on when you add your liquid, liquid ingredients, um, what will happen is you'll actually, the, the flour actually thicken um, and you'll get a nice sauce, a finished sauce in your slow cooker. I'm just going to do two more. Okay, now what we're going to do is put these aside for just a second. And what I'm going to do, let me just move this over here. And what I'm going to do is add the olive oil around the pot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start adding the chicken. And I like to do skin side down first. Just put the, nestle them all together. Don't get them too tight because you want them to, you know, brown and saute. You don't want them, 
If you get it too tight and there's a lot of moisture, you'll end up um, not browning them as nicely. You'll end up having more of a um, poachy kind of finish on it. So let's just put those in and let it cook for about, I don't know, five or six minutes. And then we're going to come back and we're going to check on them. So let's check on our chicken and see if the first side is brown. I'm going to put that, this down here. Oh, it looks gorgeous. So what we're going to do is going to flip all of our thighs over. Like so. And I'm just going to show you one. It's like really nice and brown. It looks gorgeous. So flip them over. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cook it on that side. And then we're going to come back and reserve it. So let's um, check on our chicken. It's browned on both sides, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually reserve it at this point. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next step in our recipe, which is really simple and easy. And that is we're going to add all of the onions. This is going to add a great flavor to your um, chicken recipe. And the garlic. And then what we're going to do is we're going to saute this. Um, I'm going to turn the temperature down to, I believe, 325. Three twenty-five, and what we're going to do is let me just mix this up really well and break up the onions. And what we're going to do is let it saute for a few minutes and come back. So let's check on our sauteed onions and garlic. One thing I want to mention is earlier I said that we should be sauteing the onions and garlic on three twenty-five, and I checked the recipe, and it's actually three seventy-five. So you can see how um, nicely uh, reduced those are. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the rest of the salt, the rosemary sprigs. I love to cook with rosemary. It smells so nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the lemon juice. And what's going to happen with this lemon juice is that it's going to help um, deglaze the cooking pot. You can see how it's starting to turn brown. That's actually going to do a really nice job lifting all of the, um, you know, the flavors that you've developed off the bottom of the pan, and that's going to help make the dish so much more flavorful. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to add the little bit of chicken broth, and oh, that smells really good. Um, this is the lemon zest. So add that. I love this recipe because it's so flavorful. I love the combination of lemon and rosemary. So the last couple of things that we're going to do is we're going to like nest our chicken thighs directly on top of the um, onion mixture and all of the rest of our ingredients, just like so. And then what we're going to do, the last step, is to add our lemon slices. Add them right on top of the chicken, like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, automatically switch. You can do this. You don't have to turn the unit off. We're going to automatically switch to slow cook just by pressing the slow cook button. And it automatically went on low. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the time for six hours. And we're just going to let it continue cooking. We're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to plate it up. So let's check on our lemon rosemary chicken. It's all finished. We're going to plate it up now. And what I did here was we had um, some rice. It's a good thing to put your chicken over. Let's just bring the bowl to the chicken. And you look how tender and juicy it looks. Just put it right on top. I'm going to add a little lemon. The lemon like totally disintegrates. Add some of the, see how thick the gravy got from adding the, um, dredging the chicken in the flour? Just do another one. Make sure you get some of the onions and the gravy. Now what we're going to do is going to finish it off with a few um, little sprigs of rosemary on the top. 
so you know what's in it. The great thing about Cuisinart multi-cooker, the four-in-one multi-cooker, is that you can make beautiful, tasty meals, quick and easy. While you're away from the home, it's cooking, you come back and you have a beautiful meal for you and your family. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart 4-in-1 multi-cooker. It's a slow cooker, but it can do so much more than just slow cooking. So let's look at the unit. This is a lid, it's tempered glass with a nice stainless um, handle. Put that down there. This is your roasting rack, which comes with the unit. Put that over there. This is your movable cooking pot. It's non-stick. It's great too because I'm going to show you in a little bit how to make a recipe where we're going to brown and saute. And that's really important um, to be able to do in your slow cooker because it also eliminates all the steps of cooking on top of the stove and then putting the ingredients in the cooker. So this product you can actually cook right inside the cooker. You can brown and saute and you can do you know, a really great job at developing flavor so your dishes come out really tasty. So let's look at the front. The um, body of the unit is um, made